Hey, what's going on everyone? I'm Nathan from the ebookreader.com. I just got done posting this 40 tips and tricks guide for the Galaxy Tab A. Uh, I'll have the link for this below the video so that you can check it out as well with a bunch of tips on here for this Galaxy Tab A. So let's go ahead and uh, walk you through a lot of these. So first things first, I'm using this uh, AZ screen recorder app to uh, capture the screen right here. Well, that's weird. The Play Store app isn't there. Here it is. Um, so yeah, I'm using this app right here to capture the screen here. It works really well. Um, obviously, I'm not going to be able to do anything that shows audio or like videos because you can't like capture videos with it because that would obviously be kind of a workaround. But um, so let's go ahead and talk about some of these tips I have listed on here. Let's just start with some basic stuff. If you wanted to create folders, you just take like two apps and you drag them together. And it will automatically create a folder where you can create a name and you can also uh, change the color up here as well. And then if you wanted to get rid of that folder, you just have to like get um, uh, move out the app and then it'll just automatically go away. You can obviously move around your apps just like that as well. You can bring in your apps from over here. You can also rearrange these by using that option up in the right corner there. You can edit them. So if you wanted to lay the, uh, customize the layout. And if you didn't like this particular home screen, so this is like Samsung's home screen setup, you can actually install alternate home screens. Like if you wanted to use a different launcher app, you could use Nova Launcher. It has a different kind of home screen layout and you got more settings. Like if you wanted to have continuous scroll, uh, there's some different kind of stuff that you can set up with Nova Launcher. There's a lot more settings available uh, in the settings menu for it. Okay, so swiping down from the top of the screen opens the quick settings menu. You can also scroll to the right of this for more. You can edit this if you want to like, change the uh, order of these. If like if you wanted airplane mode closer up here so that you can turn it on and off quickly, you got that option. We've got the outdoor mode right here which increases brightness beyond the usual levels and it will automatically turn off after 15 minutes. The reading mode, it subtly turns the color of the screen. Uh, sort of a warmer color to filter help filter blue light. We've also got the different power saving mode. So uh, let's go into the settings menu here. So some of the different things you want to get used to in the settings menu, like here in the Wi-Fi section, you can use Wi-Fi Direct just to connect uh, directly to Wi-Fi devices instead of uh, going through a network. If you wanted to connect to a device nearby, uh, here's another tip: uh, if you go up here and keep Wi-Fi on during sleep. You can uh, set this to different options. So like if you wanted to have uh, notifications coming in all the time, you can just have it on all the time. But if you don't like getting notifications, uh, like when you're not using your tablet, you can just turn it to be off and then your Wi-Fi is off when you're not using your device and that helps increase battery life as well. Over here you can check your monitor your data usage and see what apps are using the most data. Uh, over here in the connection settings you can set up a printer. Like you can download this plugin from the uh, Play Store. Okay, some of the options and sounds. Uh, you can change your uh, default notification. You can turn on and off your touch sounds right here. Like when you, if you don't like the keyboard sounds, you can turn those on and off. Uh, same goes with like you can have uh, touch sounds whenever you touch the screen. Uh, different options for that. And the display option right here, we've got that outdoor mode option. So you can have it turned off after 15 minutes if you're uh, not using it. So then right here we also have uh, the font option. So you can change your fonts on your device and if you wanted to use like more of a bold font and maybe some a larger font size, you can increase the font size of your system fonts on here and you'll get a totally different look as you can see here. So if you wanted larger font, I mean that's a huge difference. You can also set the, the screen mode settings in here, uh, reading mode and adaptive display. Uh, we've got this uh, feature called Daydream where it'll show like a, uh, a a screensaver on your screen when you have it plugged in. So like if you're using this Pandora option, um, you have different options with different apps. Uh, and then you can hit the preview up here to see what it'll look like. So a typical screensaver type of deal. So if you wanted to like manage your applications, you just come over here on your list. And if you wanted to move something to an SD card, for instance, you can just uh, tap on an app and hit move to SD card. You can also clear data and clear cache from here as well. 
Okay, so on the lock screen and security section, you can uh, change your uh, lock screen, different options here. You can show different information. You can set which apps you'd like to show notifications on the lock screen. You can set a different effect on there. You can turn it off entirely too if you don't even want to deal with it. Uh, so in here we also have the Find My Mobile option. So if you set up your Samsung account with your Find My Mobile right here, uh, you can actually control your tablet remotely. If it's lost or stolen, you can like uh, control it that way to move your data and uh, access your information. Over here on the battery tab, you can monitor your battery usage, see what apps are using the most battery power. You can also use these different power saving modes to uh, extend the battery life as well. Over here you can monitor your storage. Uh, it's probably a good idea to get an SD card on this device just because it doesn't have a whole lot uh, going for it. But you can monitor, you can check out what is using your space over here, what amount is used for pictures and audio and all that kind of stuff. So if you go to the device options and tap on the build number seven times, you can get the, the option for developer options which adds a whole bunch of different settings in here but I would advise not messing with this stuff unless you uh, really know what you're doing because you can really mess up your device. Okay so some other things if you hold down on the home button it'll bring up the Google Now application. If you hold down on the back button it will bring up the menu option which there is no menu option on the home screen but if you have like the web browser open and you hold on the uh, the back button it'll bring up like menu or whatever the menu is for your particular app. So one cool thing is if you like just want to add like a web page to your home screen, you can just hit the add home screen there, and it'll uh, uh, it'll put like a shortcut to the web page. Uh, then, you, but if you want to like uh, save it for offline viewing, you can hit the print button, and then it'll bring up this option where you can save it as a PDF. So then it'll also give you this preview of each page. So if you wanted to save web pages as a PDF, uh, that's all you have to do is hit the save option or the print option, and you can go ahead and just hit the save as PDF and it will save it as a PDF file and we'll add it to your document so then you can use the file manager to access your files on here uh, so if we just went over to documents we'd have that tips and tricks guide right there and you can use that for about anything Okay, so if you want to take screenshots, it's really easy. All you have to do is hold the power button and the home button at the same time. So these Galaxy tabs, they have this Galaxy apps, where if you come over here and go to the exclusives tab, you can download some exclusive apps like this Smart Tutor app and this Kids Mode app. So you can use this clock app to set alarms. You can use it as a stopwatch. It's not just a clock. It has all these other uh, features as well, world clock and the timer. So you got... Uh, some different things on here that you wouldn't think just from a regular clock app. Okay, so Galaxy Tabs, they have the uh, multi-window mode. If you hold down the recent apps icon, it'll bring up the option for um, multi-window. Another way to access the multi-window mode is just to bring up the recent apps list. And then uh, apps that support multi-window mode have this icon right here, these two lines that you can tap, and then it will open it up automatically into the dual window mode. And you can use your recent apps to select another one so with a dual window mode you can increase the window size just by dragging on that and you can also access some different settings here so you can swap them um, we can go ahead and use this icon to uh, copy text from you can move text and images from one uh, app to the next it's not going to work with this these apps so the way the uh, images and text sharing works is you can just drag stuff from one window to the next but once you have that thing activated. It also uses the smaller uh, keyboard so that it doesn't take up the whole window when you're uh, using multi-window mode. So here are some other things. Let's talk about the uh, keyboard in some other respects. If you tap this gear icon right here, you can. if you hit the microphone, you can use voice typing. If you hit the text icon, you can use text typing. So we type like this using your finger and it will convert it to text so you can also change your keyboards uh, if we go back to this option right here so we have different keyboard options you can have the normal keyboard the floating keyboard and the split keyboard depending on how you like to type this one's really small 
All right, guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this tips and tricks video right here. Hopefully you guys learned some cool stuff. Uh, check out the ebookreader.com for some additional tips and tricks. I got this list all uh, put out right here. So check out the ebookreader.com for some additional info. Thank you guys for watching. You have a good day.